Hey guys, it's Tanya, and welcome back to another Make It Tuesday. So I wanted to explain a few things before we get started. So if you haven't been following along with the Vertical Lab Book, I will definitely link the playlist up here below, and I will also link the video to where I'm getting my inspiration from. It is an older journal that I made myself, and it is a Vertical Lab Book like this, right? So I do not have the original. I am using the video as a reference. And I am showing you this right here, this piece of paper that I put together for kind of like a visual so you guys know what we're doing. I'm doing it in parts. I didn't make the cover. I wanted to make the compartments first so I can see how big I need to make the cover. Um, so everything can fit properly. So when I say I'm making a vertical lap book and you see a horizontal element, that just means that I am making this piece by piece, okay? So with that being said, this part, this is how it's gonna open, I'm sorry. This is how it's gonna open, right? So this is a vertical lap book, right? So you have a horizontal piece right here, which this compartment will go right here, okay? Then you will have the vertical part and we're going to make this we're going to start on this compartment part today, okay? And then you have another horizontal part up here, all right? So that is how the construction is going to be. Um, but I just wanted to do it a little bit different. Sometimes when you make journals and you make the cover first and you stuff all the pages or you stuff or you make a folio or a lap book and you stuff all the pages, it gets too big. So I like to take it piece by piece, then build the cover around it so everything fits nicely. Okay, so that's what we're doing. All right, so with that being said, in our last video, we made this, right? And I will link that up here. And um, I haven't decided what I wanna do. This is, to me, this is finished enough to where I can move on. I will put the ending elements when I figure out what I'm going to do. I don't know how I want to close it. I don't know if I want to actually put it in a closure. I don't know if I want to glue it to the cover or if I want it to have a be, be a removable element. I think I kind of do. So we'll see. So until I can wrap my head around what I want to do with that, I'm going to work on the other section. Okay. So, and so we won't waste time. <laughs> okay. So the section that we're going to be working on in our vertical lap book is this middle portion right here. Now, if um, you go back and you look at the original video, this middle portion was like a box right here. I had a box right here and it housed like um, a composition notebook and it housed some other things in there so that you can pull them out. But this time, I think I wanted to make it uh, like like a um, a gate gate you know so you could open it and have different things in there elements in there like a folio layout I don't know if it's going to be stationary or removable but I think all the elements are going to be removable in this one so um, yeah I think that's the best way to do it so that's what we're going to be working on today okay so let me give you some measurements so you'll know um, this right here measures uh, 11 by eight and a half. This is just 11 by eight and a half, right? So I have this piece right here, and this is an eight and a half um, by 11 piece of cardstock. This cardstock is 95 um, pounds, but it feels like a lightweight chipboard, okay? Like kind of like um, a file folder, a heavy duty file folder, or even a cereal box, okay? So we're gonna be using that. So I have one piece right here, and I have these two, okay? Now, I don't know how big I want the gussets or anything like that yet. I haven't decided it. I'm just, uh, I haven't decided, not decided it. <laughs> I haven't decided yet. I am just trying to figure out what I want to do. I think what I'm going to do, hmm, hmm, guys. I, I, you know, I'm not a big on measuring. I, I usually just kind of guess, right? But it would probably be, if this is eight and a half, it'll probably be like four. If we do like four inches on each side, we should be good. So I'm going to 
measure four inches and we'll that'll leave us a little bit of room you know so we'll have four inches right here and then we'll do another four inches from this side like this right and then we'll make our uh what is that called um y'all what am i making oh score marks oh my goodness we're gonna make our score mark right here and i think we're gonna leave oh guys hmm let's leave about um an inch and a half gusset like that i think that gives us plenty of room right i think that gives us plenty of room to start with okay i'm gonna take it to my scoreboard and i'm gonna score everything and i'll show you what i have so we have our side panels right and it's gonna go like this underneath there can you see that uh oh come on like this and we have a little gap in between but that's totally okay I'm cool with the gap um, I started inking um, this part and I think I'm just gonna do a little bit of stenciling on it not a lot y'all um, I think I got the wrong brush for this hold on yep I could tell um, we're just gonna do a little bit of stenciling nothing too heavy I don't even think you'll be able to really see it you might yeah cool you like that can you see that probably not probably should have used black but it, it'd be okay I don't um I wish I had like a darker brown but I don't so this would be fine okay that I like that no you can't can you see that I hope hopefully you can see it okay we're gonna do the other one really quickly just to give it some character when you're looking on the outside considering that it is um, brown but I like brown cardstock you know I think it looks nice okay guys so I have inked up everything and I added some um, masking tape that I just dyed I have a video on using transparency tape um, and dyeing it with Tim Holtz alcohol inks. I will link that up here. Um, I just did it with masking tape this time, okay? And if I was thinking, I would have did that all the way through, but I, I wasn't thinking. So that's what we have right here, right? Okay, so we're going to work on these right here. And I'm kind of going to do them the same but different. So I have this page from Memorandum, right? And I think I'm going to put it, I'm going to cut it and we're going to use this side. Yeah, I think, guys, I think I want to use one side of this, right? And one side of this. So we're going to put this on this side and then we're going to cut, uh, nope. We're going to cut this side out first, like right here. We're going to put that right here. And then we're going to put the other side um, on the black side on this one, okay? And we're going to do that. So I'm just measuring it out now so I can know what to cut. And I know this is going to be on this side, so I know I'm going to have to cut this side off, right? I'm going to get it there. Yeah, I think that's straight. Okay, so I'm going to cut that. And then, um, we'll see. Okay guys, so this is what I have, right? Haven't glued anything down yet. Um, I have these tags, right? I think I got these from, um, I know I got them from in, um, Etsy. Um, I think it was um, Susie's Shop Creative Cafe Girl or Cafe Creative. Yeah, I'll, I'll link it down below. But um, I think I got these from her shop. I'm not sure, but I think I did. So I'm going to use one I think like this right and I'm gonna use the other one like this okay and I was thinking about um, ripping this part off right 
and then I can use it as a pocket in part of something else if it comes off it's perforated okay use this in something else so just, guys it's kind of bended okay so I'm gonna put it right in the kind of in the middle um, and then I'm gonna put something at the bottom okay I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna put at the bottom okay so this one's gonna go like this um, like that and I was thinking about taking I'm, I'm probably gonna cut the string out um yeah I'm gonna cut the string out all right so that is that I'm gonna sew around this part I know that and then what I was thinking about doing is adding a envelope right because you can never have too many envelopes right so we're gonna put an envelope right there and I have this um, blackout paper I don't have very many sheets um, this is Tim Holtz and the reason why I like to use it is because you can sand it and it looks old and worn right so we're gonna use that and we're gonna make the envelopes right here right so I'm just gonna mark that up like this and we're not gonna use a template we are just gonna fold it all right guys I forgot to give you guys measurements okay so these tags measure um, three and a half by seven and three eighths okay and then this piece right here measures four by um, ten and seven eighths okay so that's what this measures and then we have the piece of blackout and I cut it into um, three and a half by and it's supposed to be three and a half by eight but it's um three and a half by seven seven eighths okay so with this piece all I'm going to do is I'm going to just fold it into a envelope right that's so that's all that's what I'm going to do is just fold it into an envelope just like that like that so you have an envelope right that's really easy okay and it's gonna go you know what let me do this right now because I will forget okay so it's gonna go like this and I'm gonna put it kind of right here I think because I want to be able to put something on hold on you can't see that let me zoom you guys out a little bit okay so I want to be able to put something on here in here to close it eyelid eyelid to close it and then we're gonna have the envelope like this and you know what we could do we could put this down there like that wouldn't that be cute maybe we'll do that I don't know yet but okay so I'm gonna sew around this like this individually so this would be a, uh, a pocket like this right and then I'm going to sew around this and you know you're going to have an envelope pocket that you can put in there now you can always add something to this part if you want to I don't know if I want to add anything I might just leave it uh, brown um, I, don't, I don't think that's bad I don't I think that would be okay but I am going to chomp the corners and I am going to stuff it up a little bit right now I should I need to buy some of those sanding um you know sanding pads I have them in my cart I just haven't got them yet for right now this works just as fine so I'm, I'm cool with this right and look how cool it looks <clears throat> okay let me just do that I feel like I need to put a label there or something but do I need to do that? I don't know, y'all. What do y'all think? Do I need to put something there? I don't know. But I like how that looks. So that is gonna have that's gonna be the front cover like this. Right? Um I'm thinking about leaving it so that you could put something in there as well. That's what I'm thinking about doing, right? We can make a, another tag to go right there. 
Okay, so I'm going to fold this up. I'm going to um, ink everything. I'm going to leave these off right now. And I'm going to sew. And you know what, guys? I'm going to probably not sew on these just yet. I probably just sew this and then glue it to there like that. Um, maybe. Yeah, I think I am. But I am definitely going to sew all the way around this. Okay. Okay, guys, before I sew, I wanted to show you guys, or I wanted to tell you guys the measurements. So we are, I already told you guys the measurements of this. I scored at the two and one fourth for the bottom and two inches for the top. So that makes this envelope right there. Okay? Okay guys, so this is what we have right here. Right, and we have these already sewed around them. Um, Kinda, because you won't see the back. I didn't sew on the back. So this one is all the way sewed down, right? So you can't put anything in here. You can only put something on the side, and I'm cool with that. We are going to glue <clears throat> this down to where it is a complete envelope. I mean, you're not going to be able to open it. Like, um, oh my goodness, that's not what I was trying to say. It's not. I'm going to close it down like an envelope. You're not going to be able to just open it and put something in there, okay? That's what I'm trying to say. I hope that made sense. Um, I don't know why I made that harder than um, it was supposed to be. But anyway, so that's what we're going to do with this. And before we glue it down, I think I'm going to put something right here. Okay, I don't know if I'm going to like it or not, but I'm going to do it anyway. We'll see. If I don't like it, I can always change it. You know, you can always change it. Come on. Stay. It's taking forever to stick for some reason. Okay. Okay, now you got your envelope. Right? Make sure you got it. Perfect. Okay. Um, I have photo slides um, that I sewed around. And I was thinking about putting um, one like right here in the middle. What do you guys think? I think that would be cool. So I'm going to put that in here. I think I'm going to use um, little eyelets. I have some. Let me let me see. Go. So I used my um, crocodile and punched uh, holes in it. I was going to use the smaller eyelets, but of course they didn't fit through this chipboard. So um, I just used the bigger ones. And it's going to go like this, right? I am going to put some Velcro on there so it can stay down All right you guys know I love some velcro this makes your life easier to me especially if you don't have magnets all the time um, and velcro is very um, reasonable All right let's make sure you Burnish it down so that it doesn't stick. Okay, then we're gonna glue this down um, so that it will be a pocket so that you'll be able to slide something behind there, right? Like that. Okay, line it up. Perfect. Oh, I love that. Okay, so we're going to do this one real quick. Right. And then I think we're going to do the back side, and I think we're going to be done with this um, video. I kind of have an idea of what I want to put on the back um, of the flaps, but I'm not quite sure. And I'm not gluing the flaps on just yet because... Um, the reason why I made the gusset thing so big on the thing, I want to add more, you know, leaflet things in there. So, figure I'm not going to glue everything together until I have actually built everything. You know, just makes it easier that way because I don't have a plan. I'm just kind of winging it. If I was, if I had a plan, then you know, 
that would be different. But since I don't, it's better. I'd rather be safe than sorry. You know, glue pieces together that I'm not going to use or that's too um, the ill-fitted. I guess that's the word that you could say um, that doesn't fit right. Okay, let me see. All right. What do you guys think? I think that looks good. I love this. Okay. So this is the front part, and of course, I'll show you guys what it looks like on. So this is how it's going to go, right? Like this. Oh, guys, can you see that? Isn't that, that going to look cool? I think that's going to look cool. Okay, so we're going to make something for the back, and then we're going to glue this all together. Okay, so we're going to set this aside to dry a little bit more. I was thinking about on one, <clears throat> we're going to put an envelope, one that has a long flap like this and it comes down here and it ties. So you have a long pocket, um, a, well a short pocket but with a long flap. And then we'll put another um, pocket on the flap. That's what I was thinking. And then this side, <clears throat> I was thinking about having... Um, just pockets you know like that you can slide things in on that side what do you guys think yeah I think we could alright yeah so I picked out the page and this is the page from memorandum right and I'm just gonna measure it and I think I have an idea so we're gonna use this piece right here and I have some vintage um, air mill envelopes and I was thinking about um, gluing this part and cutting the top and using that for a pocket and doing this one the same so you have that on this side right um and then on the other one i don't know yet <laughs> you guys we're going to do this part first right so i um we're doing this okay and then i am going to, like i told you guys i'm going to glue this down and I'm going to use these as pockets right like that so I'm going to cut off the top part and I am going to sew um, you guys already knew that didn't you you know I was going to sew it hopefully my idea works and it's not yes so you have a pocket yay it worked okay so we're going to put that up here but we're not going to we're going to kind of um, put it uh, in the middle because I don't want to block the eyelet that's going to be holding it, right? I'm going to move this over. Do this one the exact same way. Right? Come on, glue. Do this one. I'm trying to use up some of my ephemera, y'all. I, um, I don't have a lot. Um, but, you know, I try to use it sometimes. But if you don't have, um, um, vintage airmail envelopes, I do have a shop that sells them. Um, I will link it down below so you guys can check out the shop. I kind of want to put it, okay, I kind of want to put this kind of like in the middle, so that, but then you'll be able to see that. Mm. I just put it over to the side like this, and I think it'll be okay. Will that be okay? Is that gonna is that gonna be bad that you're gonna be able to see that, y'all? Is that gonna is that gonna be a deal breaker for me? I don't know. I don't think so. I think it'll be okay. I think it'll be okay. I don't know. I could always put something right there to kind of like a label right there, couldn't I? Yes, that's what I'll do. I'll put a label right there. Or I can always put a stamp or something like that so you won't really see it. And I know it probably doesn't bother anybody, but it bothers me a little bit. Okay, so we'll do this ink around everything, sew around everything, or sew around this part. And then on the other part, right? I'm going to show you guys what I want to do on this part. So this is this one. So I took a piece of old file folder. I don't got around the corners, I think. Right? 
on there. So this one is going to go like this. This is going to go like this, right? Like this. Okay. And then you're going to be able to flip it up like that. And I took this piece of, I think this is a time card, and I just cut it. That's going to go right here. And you're going to have a pocket. So it's going to be flipping up like this. And then we're going to sew that. And then to close it, it's going to be Velcro, of course. But I'm going to use this as decoration because I think it looks cool. Right? And we're going to staple it. And I was thinking about putting a belly band or something. I don't know, y'all. I don't know what I want to put right here yet. All right, y'all. So I punched out the holes and I sewed on everything. I took out little bits because so, I don't know what I want to put in that little space right there. And I don't even know if I'm going to put anything in there, but we'll see. So we're going to glue this on here like that. About right there, I think. That's going to be good. Right. Um, do I want to glue this all the way down? Yes, I'm going to glue it all the way down. I'm going to glue this one all the way down. Okay. Like so. Okay. Yes. Okay. And then this one, I think we're going to glue it like a pocket so you can put something behind there and something in the inside. I think that would be a good thing. You can never have too many pockets and things to put your own ephemera, right? So we're going to put this one down here like so. All right, yeah, and so we have that little space that's gonna just drive me up the wall, this little bit of space. <laughs> so I was thinking about putting something like this, um, but then I found this ticket, and I guess I could put that right there. Then I can always layer something on there too, like this. You know, and we can kind of make it into like a a tuck spot, can't we? You think we should do that? I think that'd be a cool idea. So I'm gonna um, glue this together, right? And put this little piece right here, like this. I think I'm gonna add a uh, something metal right there. I think an eyelid would be good right there, or a brad. Okay, I'm gonna let this dry, and I'm gonna sew it because that's just what I do. All right, guys. So, okay, guys. So we are going to finish this up. I have sewed around this, so we have this one pocket right here. We have a pocket right here, and then we have a pocket right here, a slit pocket, and then we have. A little tuck spot right there and then on this piece I covered it so when you flip it up you know you have the right side up so that is going to go underneath here there's a pocket right here I'm going to glue this down like that we're talking okay and this is a pocket uh, a flip up pocket I guess you can call it like that Right, put that right there, just like this. Okay, go down like that. Okay, so it's gonna flip up like this, right? Okay, and then, uh oh, we have this piece, and I just took the off cut piece and I just folded it over. I added the rest of this. To this so you have a pocket right here and then you have a slit pocket right there and I added some eyelids and then we're gonna glue this kind of like in the kind of like in the middle we're gonna glue it all the way down okay I 
like this. And maybe when I'm done, I'll go back and put a label or something right there. But for right now, I think this is good. You know, I like this. Okay. So, I don't know if I'm going to put um, Velcro right there, guys. I, I don't know. I think it's going to stay closed. So I don't think I'm going to have to put Velcro. But I am going to put this piece right here. Because I like it. And let me... Hmm, I wonder if I'm going to have to put it up a little bit higher. I might have to put it up a little bit higher so it doesn't um, hit the, uh, what am I trying to say, y'all? What am I trying to say? So it doesn't hit the bottom of the um, book, right? Um, I was going to staple this. Guys, I'm going to try to use my stapler. My stapler, it doesn't like me, so we're going to see. I'm just going to staple it right there in the middle. Like that. Oh yeah, like it. Ugh, I got the ugly staples on the side, but I think it looks good, right? Just gonna dab that up a little bit. Ooh, guys, I like it. Okay, so let's glue it all to. Let's glue it all down. All right. I mean, on this part anyway. Okay, so we're gonna do this one first. Which one did I have on this one? I said I was gonna do this one right here, right? So I'm gonna glue this down this uh oh yeah uh -uh. put some glue right there right there she don't want anything coming up right glue it down just like this Right, and then I'm going to glue the other piece down right here. And then if we decide not to put the eyelids down, you know, like in there like I was going to do to close it, I don't know what I'm going to, if I don't do the eyelids, I guess you could do a bulldog clip. I don't know, guys. I haven't thought that far in advance yet. I'm just, you know, going with the flow. Oh, guys, I think it might be a little bit too big, but I'll fix it. I'll fix it. <sighs> and I will sew that to make it look good if I have to. No, I don't think I have to. I think it'll be okay. You can just ink it. Yeah. Okay. That's the first one. And then let's do the second one really quickly. So we're going to glue this piece down like this, right? Make sure I got it the right size. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes my measuring is off. You guys know that. Okay. Right. Okay. So we are going to add this piece right here. guys I don't really know if I want to put the box back in there like I did the first time I don't know I'm, I'm really trying to figure that out so hopefully um, in the next video I will definitely have a plan because I have to plan some parts of this out um, I think <laughs> you know because if I, if I wanted to add the box and I'm, I have too many flaps and all that stuff then that that's not gonna work right so I definitely have to plan some of those out. So I'm going to kind of think about it before our next video and see what I want to do. I just haven't decided yet. Okay. All right. 
let's put this right there. Oh, guys, I think it looks nice. What do y'all think? I think it looks good. I think it's going to look really nice. And I think, you know, so far they're going together. They match. They look good, right? Um, yeah, so, yeah, I like it. I like it, guys. I like it. All right. So that is all for this video. Um, I will do my best to link um, the playlist down below, the original video, and the um, creator of the Airmail Digitals. So if you guys wanted to check them out, of course, these are originals, but if you didn't have those and you're trying to follow along. Oh, and I will definitely link the shop where I got these. Okay. Um, I hope you guys have a blessed week and God bless. Bye.